Today we're going to show you how to install a rubber pipe boot on a standing seam metal roofing residential application. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Today we are continuing our standing seam metal roofing installation series on Adam Mazella's house with a pipe boot installation. On Adam's house there are two pipe penetrations, one on the front and one on the back side of the house. We were able to lay out the panels on the front side so that the penetration fell in the field of the panel. So all we have to use is a rubber pipe boot and no extra metal. But on the pipe on the back of the house, it falls in a seam, which means we're gonna have to do a little bit of different detail to get that flashed in properly. We have also done a Q&A episode about why Sheffield Metals uses rubber pipe boots, and you can check that link in the description down below. Matt Lane from Metal Construction Solutions and Installations is back with us today. He's going to be demonstrating the process. So let's go over to him and check it out. Starting to work on our pipe boots here. Essentially what we're going to do is this is our seal around this soil stack. A quick explanation. This rubber boot's tight. We're going to fit this around this pipe we're going to cut it a little tighter than the pipe but not too tight we got two ways we can do this if we cut it too big we don't seal tighter on the pipe but if we cut it too small and we try to get it over the pipe we're going to tear the boot and have to get another one so the idea is we're going to try to stay one ring inside the diameter of the pipe we're going to drop this boot on we'll mark on our roof where the deck of our our boot's gonna go, and then we'll mark on our pipe the top of the boot. That way we can pull it back off, we can seal down around here, we're gonna have a butyl tape on the bottom of here, we set it, we're gonna caulker on the pipe up here. But on this pipe, there's some tar and there's some junk on here. So we're gonna chisel this off, we're gonna clean it up. And we're actually, we've, we made a couple pipe sleeves out of the same material as the roof. We're going to seal it around the pipe. We're going to drop our sleeve over just so it's clean because it's, you know, kind of rusty old pipe. We don't want it bleeding down on the roof, just looking ugly up here. So uh, if you come across anything else, we'll point it out as we go along.
got our boot cut. We've slid it down over our bead of sealant. That sealant has seated itself up inside of here, ready to receive our hose clamp. I got a little bit of caulking here. Uh, we'll wipe that off in a minute. Uh, we've seated our butyl, taped down all the way around. I want to make sure we got a good seal because that's that's the crux of it is right here. And I also went ahead and marked around our boot for even spacing. Have to check with your manufacturer to see how often that screw needs to be, you know, in order for them to have the proper seal. And that's pretty much it. We'll come around when we're done, put a hose clamp on there once we get everything screwed off. these fasteners down make sure you got your butyl pushing out a little bit seat these down so they're seated properly uh, with your normal fasteners you know you don't want to overrun them don't want to underrun them I want to make sure that washer is set and if you go down too hard on these you can shred the boot you now you can tear this up damage it so you want to be real careful you don't want your gun to kick off of here tear through the side uh, you just have to get a new boot at that point You can see here our sealant coming through. We'll end up filling back in around these. So these are just initial marks to get us started. stacks here we've got one just over the back of the ridge we're real close to the ridge so we're just gonna Z trap this in and go up under our flashing and we're all caulk taped underneath here just like we're doing with our top closures we're tabbed we'll finish pinning this in we're gonna caulk this in then we'll set a plate over here and we'll be able to put our boot on top of here like I said we've got a different detail here the only reason we can do this like this is because we are so close to the ridge we can duck, duck under it once we get you know 20 feet down the roof uh expansion begins to play a role so a detail like we have over here with that boot our roof deck's going to have to be cut out a little wider that way when we screw through our panel that panel still has the ability to move and we're not trapping that expansion into the roof deck right there um, we've also got another detail that you can refer to sheffield metals you know warranty pages on where we trap the high that is actually more like doing a curb that allows has panels coming into the top and separate panels leaving the bottom so that this can get pinned solid here and the panels up above when they get longer have the ability to expand and contract without causing any issues with the clips and the roofing system itself.
Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate it. Hope you learned something about how to install pipe boots on a residential standing seam metal roofing application. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Comment down below with any questions that you might have. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.